Hey guys, I'm going to make a canned ham. We always, uh, we've always done a canned ham. We've, we've never done any other kind of ham because we like the flavor of the canned ham. So this one is a Hormel. They make a hundred different kinds of canned ham, but this is one we're going to use. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm also going to show you the ingredients for the glaze that I'm going to put on there. So first thing you need is some brown sugar. Um, we just buy the light brown sugar. You need vinegar, regular old white vinegar. And then you need some mustard, yellow mustard. And for the ham itself, you're going to need some uh, whole cloves. So, and you're also going to need just a, we just use a square pan, like a, I don't, we call it a brownie pan because this will go the brownies in, but it's just a square pan and just enough aluminum to put it in the pan and cover the ham up. You don't, it doesn't need to be a huge amount. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put my aluminum in here. Just enough for your, okay, there, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're, this is, might gross you out a little bit, so I'm warning you now. Um, it is not the prettiest thing, the canned ham, when you open it. I'm just warning you now. The instructions on the back say that you can actually take this out and eat it Yeah, it said uh, this is already cooked. You can actually uh, serve it cold if you want to. Which but, I can't imagine. Which, when you see it, you just, you just decide if you would serve us cold. Or you can bake it for 325 um, for uh, an hour. So that's what we're going to basically do. So, uh, and you have to keep it refrigerated. So this is, they got rid of the old key systems, which are a pain in the butt anyway, and pulled a pull tab on here. So you just basically pull it out and pull it back. Just be careful not to catch yourself because yep. it is sharp. Trying not to flip hand juice everywhere. Okay. Actually, it's not as bad as they used to be. So basically, just take your ham and just turn it over. But you see the all the liquid, and it's not too bad. Actually, we've seen it worse. Sometimes it's like like jelly in there, like literally. Yeah. yeah. So what I do, let me rinse my hands off. So what I do is take a knife and just make score lines, and they don't have to be perfect, but you know, like in every what half inch or so. And then we're going to do it the other way. And between each one of those, I'm going to take a whole clove. So let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just washed my hands. I had ham juice on them. So I'm just going to dump some of these in my hand. And you see they're like little spiky pieces. I'm literally just going to kind of push them in between the, in the areas. And they don't have to be between each square. Just kind of get them in there. It's not rocket science. It's not hard. Uh, this does add flavor to it though, so it doesn't seem like it would, plus it looks pretty cool. But for every one that you put in, you have to pull them all out. When it's yeah, right. and what I usually do though is I take a fork, and I just take a fork and scoop them, scoop them up um, in the fork so it's not too bad. I stuck that one between. So I'm going to continue to put these in there and I'll be back when I'm done. If you have extra cloves in your hand, make sure you throw them away because you've got ham juice on them or just pitch them in there. Won't hurt anything at all. So next I'm going to mix up my glaze. I, we like a pretty sweet glaze. So I'm going to use um, a half a cup of brown sugar and then I'll, I'll adjust it from there. Um, I got two half, I got two fourths. And that should be enough. And the rest of it, I really don't measure, and I'll tell you why. I'm just going to, you'll see why. So take your vinegar, and you're just going to pour it in, and you want a pretty thick, like, slurry. So you're just going to add vinegar until um, it's, it's basically dissolved the sugar, but it's not runny. You don't want it runny. See, that's too thick, so I need a little bit more. Yeah, see how it's it's still it's still thick, but it's it's runny too. Does that, that makes any sense whatsoever at all? And so that's all the vinegar I'm going to use, and then I'm going to take mustard, and I'm just going to squirt a big old bunch of it in there. And just mix it up really good. 
And if I had to guess, that was probably what, two tablespoons maybe? Or three. Or three, two or three tablespoons. You can do it to taste. You know, if you like it, if you like things mustard, we like the mustard flavor in there. Um, if you don't quite like the mustard flavor, that's okay too. So I'm gonna, literally just gonna take this and dump it over the ham. And it'll run down the sides. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna turn it long ways just so. And you wanna put a little bit of water in the bottom of your pan. Um, and it doesn't take much, I'll show you. Just fill it up about, a, I don't know, what is that, a third of the way full? Mm -hmm. And then put it in the oven, 325, for about, um, it stays in an hour to cook, so about 45 minutes from now, I'll check on it. I'll, I'll, be, actually, I'll be back in 45 minutes and I'll show you what I did. All right, for the next part, I gotta dump out some of this water, so I'm gonna dump it out in the sink real quick. And it's been in there how long? It's been in there 45 minutes. You notice I didn't dump out all the water, just a lot of it, because I'm gonna open the aluminum up. Aluminium. The aluminium. Because right now, you wouldn't want to serve that necessarily because it's not very pretty and brown. So what I usually do is I just roll these over. You can pull them off if you want to, whatever. Very sticky, just to let you know that, the, that anything you see that's the yellowish color is going to be very sticky. So you don't want to spill that, trust me. So now what I'm going to do is get a spoon and I'm going to take some of this and just kind of put it on top. You notice the sugar melts and see how much watery and liquidy it is. It's, it's, it's almost literally like, like water. Um, I'm going to get it all good on the sides. Uh, this doesn't make a, like a crispy coating, but it'll make a sticky, sweet um, coating on it. So now I'm going to take this just like it is, and I'm going to put it back in the oven for like another 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. Probably going to check it in 10 minutes and do the same thing. Put uh, liquid on there, take this liquid again, put it up on there, and then um, uh, take it back out, put more liquid on there, and then leave it for another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, liquid, and then 10 more minutes. Okay, right, here it is, and like I said, I've taken it out and put the juice over it a couple of times and put it back in and, and let, it, uh, let it get good and brown. And it's not super brown, but it's a little brown. Because what you have to do is you have to take all these little cloves out of here. I mean, I guess you could leave them in if you wanted to, but nobody wants to eat them. And what I usually do is just take them with my fork. Are they too hot to just pick out? They're, they're, they're very hot. Okay. Because I would be tempted to just pick that well, up. Well, <laughs> you can, and I have done that before, too. I mean, these actually aren't too bad. But they get sticky all over your fingers, too. So, basically, I'm done. This is, uh, I'm going to pull these off and uh, put it on a cutting board and slice it. And I usually take the juice and drizzle it over the slices. And um, it's ready to eat. The last step, once you get it over on a platter, is just to take your juice. And I usually just take it and spread it all over the place. But this is pretty much it. And um, it's a really good ham. It's got a lot of flavor to it. And it's good and juicy and tender. And uh, it's, it's ready to serve. And even though you have juice on it, it's good after Easter to put on a sandwich with cheese. Oh yeah, because this juice, uh, well, it won't stick on there. It won't be like runny. It'll mostly sit in the bottom.